Miss Sam and today I'm going to be walking you through our newest Let's Get Crafty tissue paper flowers. These are a really fun craft and they're so beautiful and I'm really excited to walk through it with you. Let's get started. So in your craft bag you're going to find a selection of colored tissue paper. I'm using today just pink and white but you'll probably have different colors than me. You'll find some beads and you'll find some pipe cleaners and those will act as the stem of your flower. Something you'll need from home should just be a pair of scissors so that we can cut out that pretty petal shape. So for now, let's just set all of this aside, slide it over here, and we're gonna take our tissue paper. Now I'm using six sheets right now, but you definitely don't have to use this many. If you'd like to use three or four sheets, you'll still have a pretty flower. It just won't be as full as the one you saw before. If you want to use more sheets of paper, you can do that as well. Just keep in mind that the more paper you have in your flower, the harder it's gonna be to separate them easily. So today I'm just gonna use six, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line them up so they all are sitting nicely. And if they don't perfectly line up, that's okay. Just do your best to try to get them to line up nicely. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to fold your paper uh, into a fan shape. So I'm gonna start down here. I'm gonna fold it over and you want these to only be about an inch wide. So fold it across and then I find it easiest to just flip it over and fold it again. And you're gonna do that all the way to the end. All right, and when you get to the end, if they're not perfect, a perfect size, that's okay. Just fold it over so it's complete. And then you're going to have this really cool kind of fan shape. So if you pinch it in the middle here, you can kind of separate them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to fold it in half like this. So that our edges kind of line up like so. And this is when I'm going to take one of my pipe cleaners. I think I'm going to use this really bright neon yellow. I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to put it in the middle here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it and twist it. Now I want my flower, because I'm using two colors, I want my flower to have this really nice pretty pink on the inside of the flower and I want the white to be on the kind of outside. So I have it so that my stem is coming this way, if that makes sense. And just so that while I'm putting this together, it doesn't come apart, the next part I'm going to show you kind of more up close how to put your beads on, okay? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, beads uh, and slide them all the way down your pipe cleaner. And I'm going to use three. I think that's a good number. So once you have two on, slide your third one down, all the way down. And then you're going to take the end of your pipe cleaner and bring it around and tuck it through the bead and make sure it's next to those other beads and just pull your pipe cleaner through like this. Okay, and that'll make it so that this doesn't come undone and get loose so your flower doesn't fall apart. And then you have your stem. Mine curled up a little bit, but that's okay. All right, now that you have your beads on, we'll set aside our extras. We're gonna cut our petal shapes out of our flower. So what you're gonna do is now you can take your scissors and I like to use a U shape to make my flower. So I'm gonna cut a half circle out, but you could also cut it out with a V shape. It'll just change the shape of your flower petals. So I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna kinda round out this edge here. Like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because flowers are from nature and nature isn't always perfect. So that's a nice little petal shape and we'll do the same on the other side. All the 
these to the side here. Alrighty. Alright, so now we have our shapes cut out for our petals. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually spread out our flower like this. Kind of pull it apart so you can kind of see those petal shapes that we made at the ends. And what we're doing right here is we're just separating it so that we'll be able to pull them apart a little easier. And just kind of pull them apart like that. All right. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna very, very carefully start to pull our flower petals up. And how I do that is I just pull a little bit at a time and very gently because this is tissue paper so it's gonna be very easy to tear. You're just gonna gently pull it towards the middle here. And it's okay that it's wrinkly, that'll just add to that really pretty petal effect. And we're gonna do the same on both sides and we're gonna do that the whole time. So we'll go one side and then we'll go back to the other side. more paper you'll see here how it's getting a little more stuck together and creating that layered effect that's what will happen the more paper you add so um, if that happens just be very gentle and it should be okay come back to the other side oh and see mine ripped a little bit there but that's okay kind of squish them together a little bit so it creates more of a round shape because you don't want it to kind of be open. All right, so there's all pink. together a little bit. All right, and there you go. You have your really pretty flower here. And for these, you could do a lot of cool stuff. So I did my two colors put together. So it was three sheets of pink and three sheets of white, but you could do a lot of fun stuff and layer different colors, have rainbows. Um, and so that could be really fun. Alright everyone, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for coming along with me as we made this craft and I'm really excited we got to kick off spring with these beautiful tissue paper flowers. Until next time!